Today we're going to talk a little bit about how user account control, or UAC, helps protect your Windows computer. Now chances are that when you've been using your computer, you've probably seen a prompt appear that looks something like this. When you try to run certain programs, you'll see a prompt that says, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? It'll tell you a little bit about what it is, where it came from, and you can decide if you want to allow it or not. This is called user account control in Windows, and what it does is it enables you to choose when you want to let an app uh, run as an administrator on your system. So we have to talk a little bit about the types of user accounts on Windows to understand this. So Windows offers two types of accounts. You can have a standard account or an administrator. As you would expect, an administrator basically has full control over the computer. They can install and uninstall software. They can add new users. They can access other people's files and basically do whatever they need to do. A standard account, by comparison, is more limited. Uh, standard accounts can change settings that only affect them, but they can't install software as an administrator and make other changes that affect other users of the computer. So the reason that UAC exists is because in Windows XP, there was an issue where most software was written to assume that you were an administrator. So whenever you logged in as an admin, everything was okay, but if you weren't an admin, a lot of software would just fail to run and so people would end up using an administrator account all the time. The problem is that when you're logged in as an admin like this, everything is automatically approved, so programs could do whatever they want if you were logged in as an admin, which leads to malware attacks and other issues. So Windows Vista introduced the feature of UAC, but it was much too heavy-handed at the time. You have probably saw those Mac versus PC commercials where Apple mocked Windows Vista for constantly having to approve every little action that you took. So you, if you use Vista, you might see UAC in modern versions like Windows 10 and think, oh, I don't want to use that. But the truth is, is that UAC is much better in modern versions of Windows. So whenever you try to launch a program that requires administrator rights, you'll see a UAC prompt. But it's not like it used to be in Vista. There, there are four levels of UAC prompts by default. And you can find this option by opening up your Start menu, typing in UAC, and then clicking on the Change User Account Control Settings window. Now you'll see four options here, we'll go through them one by one. From top to bottom, there are the most sensitive to least sensitive. So the first one's always notify. This basically mimics the behavior of Windows Vista, and it notifies you every time that apps want to run as an admin to make changes to your computer, and also when you make changes to Windows settings, such as changing the time zone or adding a printer or something like that. If you really want your system to be secure, you can use this option, but in most cases it's probably overkill and it will just lead to you getting annoyed. The next option down is the default and probably the best for most users. It'll notify you when apps try to make changes to your computer, such as we saw earlier with the command prompt running as an admin, or when you try to install new apps from the internet, but it won't alert you when you try to make changes to Windows settings, which most people don't consider to be a, a very sensitive thing anyway, like changing the time zone or things like that. Next down is the same as above, except it doesn't dim the desktop. Now that's what we're using in this uh, example because I had to change it to be able to record the UAC prompt that you saw earlier. Um, there's really no reason to use this unless for some reason it takes your desktop a long time to dim. And the reason is that when the desktop dims, it calls your attention to that block and you know that it's a genuine Windows prompt. Without that dimming, it kind of just looks like a regular window and it's kind of hard to uh, figure out what's going on quickly. So we don't recommend that if you can avoid it. And the bottom one is never notify. This basically completely turns UAC off and makes it so that apps won't ask you to run as an admin uh, no matter what. Now the reason we don't recommend doing this is twofold. The first reason is if you're logged in as an administrator, apps will always run as an admin. So they won't ask you, they'll just have admin permissions, which is the same issue we talked about with Windows XP. The other problem is that if you're not logged in as an admin, if you try to do something that requires administrator permissions, it'll just fail. It won't ask you. And the reason for that is because UAC basically allows you to run programs as an admin only when you need to. So normally, even if you're logged in as an administrator, if you run a piece of software that doesn't need to be an admin, you're not actually running it as an administrator, which keeps things uh, at a low level of permission to protect your system. But when you do need to run as an admin, an administrator sees a simple prompt like the one we saw earlier, just a yes or no prompt. Someone logged in with a standard account would see this prompt, but it would also ask them to uh, log in with administrator credentials. So if you're logged in with a standard account, you have to type the credentials of an admin account to be able to run the program as an admin. This allows admins to make changes even if they're using someone else's account without having to switch to their own and go through all those steps. So if you turn UAC off, you won't see any of these prompts. Everything will run as an admin if it needs to, if you're logged in with an admin account, 
and everything will automatically fail if you try to run it as an admin on a standard account. We definitely don't recommend this because it makes your system a lot more open to threats. So that's a basic overview of how UAC works. Um, you can tweak the levels like we talked about, and it basically makes it so that even when you're logged in with an admin account, apps only run as an admin when they actually need to. Um, it's just an easy way for Windows to split up privileges of, of when it needs, when things need to run as an admin and when they don't. And it's an easy way to keep your system safe. So we definitely recommend keeping it on, but now you know a little bit more about why those prompts appear and what you should do when you see one. So that's all for this uh, video. Thanks for watching. We hope you learned something, and we'll see you next time.